Hey guys, I wanted to talk a little bit about the host file. All right, uh, Windows, Linux, Mac all have some kind of host file, and what it does is basically it's a way to resolve a domain name without using DNS. All right, and you can basically assign any domain name you want to any IP address, uh, which will of course only work on your machine. Um, you could actually point Google.com to a, a Yahoo um, IP address and then if you go in your browser and type in google.com it'll go right to Yahoo alright so it's a, it's an alternative to for mostly for web developers that don't want to actually uh, connect a, a domain to a to a website they're developing yet um, but it's a way to kinda um, allow you to use a domain and not this this junk we have up here now. All right. So as an example, I have a site called Zoom Digi, and I've just moved all the files, uh, or copied all the files to my new VPS server, and I haven't, I don't have a domain name uh, connected to it yet. So to access it, I'm using the IP address, and then I'm using the username, and that brings you to your to your your website. I do have the original site right here which is joomdigi.com and actually has the domain name connected to it um, and the difference here just so we could differentiate these sites is that um, on the new server I have the, the menus all squished up with no search bar alright so that's how we're gonna tell the difference here but my goal is to connect the joomdigi.com domain to my new server to my new site uh, obviously with just the machine I'm on and one of the reasons for this is if you just use this here the IP address and we go ahead and click on blog you can see we're getting an error here a not found error and this is due to not having an actual domain name but using this this crap here alright so if we go to the regular site the live site and click on blog everything's fine all right, so I want to be able to use joomdigi.com for this site right here. All right, so we need to go to our host file, and it's right here. Let me just uh, close this. I want to show you exactly where it is on a Windows system. All right, so you want to go to your C drive or whatever your main software drive is, and go to Windows, and then um, System 32. Okay and then to drivers and then to ETC alright and you can see the full path right here it's kinda hidden alright so let's click on this host file and you want to open it with a text editor you could use notepad I'm gonna use notepad plus plus and if you haven't messed with it at all it should look something like this alright so basically uh, we want to put the IP address and then the domain name or the, the local host name resolution that we want to be assigned to that IP address alright now these here if you have this um, this hashtag or, or pound symbol it, it works as a comment alright so none of these are actually doing anything these are just comments and examples um, you can actually remove this and then you'll be able to use localhost which will ping back to your um, loopback address which is your own com the computer you're on which is 127.0.0.1 alright but I'm gonna leave that and what I wanna do here is I want the IP address for my new server for my June Digi site which is right here so I'm gonna just copy this alright we don't want the slashes and we don't want the HTTP we just want the the IP address alright then we need to do one space actually I'm not sure if it has to be one but it has to be at least one and then I'm just gonna put in joomdigi.com okay I'm gonna save this and now go back and now we should be able to use joomdigi.com to access this which is the new site on the new server Actually, I'll do it over here. And you, again, you'll know the difference because the search bar will be gone.
All right, so you can see now this domain is actually leading to this, to the new site. And now if I click on blog or any other link, it's going to work, okay, because we don't have that jibber jabber up in this up in the the, the URL all right so uh, very handy for web development if you need to actually use the site with a domain but you don't actually want to um, point a live domain to to the live site um, and all we have to do to reverse this is just delete this save and now if I go back to joomdigi.com brings us back to the live site to the to the old server all right so just wanted to share that with you all right thanks please subscribe and keep watching my videos